Very warm welcome back to Bukit Jalil. It's the semi final of the Pestabola Merdeka. India in blue, trailing Malaysia in black by three goals to one in this semi final. Tajikistan await the winners in Tuesday's final at the same venue. India, it must be said, very much second best in that first half, where Malaysia's front four, Darren Locke, Akio Rashid, Arif Ayman, and Faisal Halim, terrified the India back four of Nikhil Pudri, who gave away a penalty. Sandesh Jingan, who was robbed. Maitab Singh, who was dispossessed, that led to the third goal. Nakash Mishara, who had a torrid time keeping hold of Faisal Halim Faisal with the third of the Malaysia goals just before half-time. Earlier on, the impressive Arif Ayman had set up Faisal or thought it set up Faisal, but they had a miscommunication and uh, a clear chance for Malaysia went to begging. But Malaysia fully worthy of that 3-1 win and the SAF Cup champions, I'm sure will have had a talking to. They were very unhappy with uh, referee Mong Kong Jai. There were constant little moans to him. Whereas Malaysia, under the stewardship of captain Matthew Davis, just got on with things. In the second half, India will hope to improve their attitude and hope to create more scoring chances. They were neat and tidy going forward. Laranjuala down the right, Mahesh down the left. Sunil supported by Sahil Abdul Samad. But not an awful lot really for Igor Stimak to be thrilled about in that first 45 minutes. Sian Hasmi, the Jordal Taxima Malaysia goalkeeper, I think his 15th international. Malaysia it is who get us underway in the second half. In unfamiliar all black as Dion Cools launches long. No change of personnel for either team. So Malaysia. We have a long throw option in Lebert Corbinong, but don't have an awful lot of height to aim for. Should Corbin on throw this towards the uh, six yard area? Second half underway. Corbin on instead goes short. Akia is there. But, uh, better use of resources. Akia. Right then, India. Their starting lineup in a 4 2 3 1 formation. Gurpreet Singh Sandhu in goal. Nikhil Pujari, Sandesh Jinga, Metab Singh, and Akash Mishara, Mishra along the back. Rohit Kumar and Sura Singh Wanjan in the heart of midfield. Ali Antwala down the right. Mahesh Singh down the left. Sahal Abdul Samad and Sunil Chetri. Sunil Chetri through the middle. Gurpreet down the line. Finds Kobin Ong only. Arif. And this Jingan, who's looked uh, a little bit uncomfortable with the pressure he's been put under by Arif Ayman and Darren Locke. There is Arif, the 21 year old from Johor, scored a penalty. Heavily involved in many, many good things. Ryan Twyla unable to get the ball away, and Soresh, who wants miscontrols. Darren Locke finds Faisal, he invites Davis to go around the outside. Davis! It was a wrestling match on the back post. Faisal Halim! Slalomed his way into the penalty area. Malaysia, a very attacking lineup. Sihan in goal, Davidson, and Corbin on full backs pushing forward. Dion Cools and Dominic Tan, the two centre backs. As we have a look at Faisal taking the shot. Hendrik and Noah Lane are the holding midfielders. Faisal, Akia and Ari Feynman offering support for Darren Locke up front. This is Rohit under immense pressure from Dion Kools. Malaysia pressed and pressed and pressed and pressed. And India have been able to find a way out of the press. With five substitutions allowed. This energy can be expected, I think, to continue. No pressing. Results in a free kick for Malaysia and Sikkim Pangon wants the ball back on the field of play. Wants his team to play with tempo.
Yep. Trying the impossible nutmeg down the byline. That is impudence. You can see there from Alastar up in the northeast of the country. He's uh, in this jingle. Or centre back in the top sink. Inside the first 90 seconds, India had hit the crossbar. Running run down the left hand side from Akash Mishra. Samuel Abdul Samad striking the top of the bar. Since then, Malaysia, to their credit, FIFA ranked 134 have really taken the game to FIFA ranked 102 India. Darren Locke wins a corner kick for Malaysia. Another hard-working performance from Darren Locke. Providing the height for Pujari. The marking from Cruz makes a run to the near post. Oh, and it's just wide from Darren Locke. Cruz distracted. Locke got the header in. And for the second time, he's less than a foot wide. It's a nice cushioned header. Hendrik curls it in beautifully. That is not great defending from India. Just stops uh, Nali Anzuala getting the touch through. Tab just dinks it over Faisal, who's not the tallest. Mishra, made Tab, and there's the pressure once again on Sandesh. He coped with it better there. But he doesn't look comfortable. Now time and space there looks obviously a lot more comfortable. Plays it into Rohit Kumar, the Bengaluru midfielder. Mahesh. Now then, Lalianzuala. Lovely ball, and Sunil Chetri is on hand to score. Fast break. No celebrations from Sunil, but India very, very well and truly back in the game. It's the 93rd international goal of Sunil's fabulous career. Mahesh, lovely ball. Corbinong just caught the wrong side, and that's a lovely, clever pass from Lalianzuala. And it is a genuine tap in for Sunil. India capitalizing on Malaysia's willingness to push the fullbacks forward. Both wingers involved. Mahesh to Lalianzuala. And Sunil Chetri, 3-2. Sandesh Jigan. Well played, India. They've stuck to things. Pujari. Blocked off illegally by Akira Rashid. Different game now. Boudry allowed to go forward. A little bit of space there between the uncles and. Dominic Tam. 
Pujari. Sliding challenge from Corbin Ong. Arif, first involvement. It's off the back of his heel. So that will be a, a throw in. Good work from Sura Singh. Stimak has had the response, uh, I'm sure he desired. We don't concede many goals, India, so to have three put past them and could arguably, should arguably have been more. Lovely ball. Oh, the flag is up, though, for offside against Valenzuela. Did look offside. Coming forward the other way, Faisal Halim, chance to shoot Faisal. And then it's in front of Darren Locke and Akia is frustrated. Going forward, exhilarating. The three could be six. Akia was saying, just slide it over to me, I'm in acres of space. Flick. Sunil Chetri. Such a clever player, you can understand why he is such a, an important part of everything India do going into the Asia Cup. They face Australia, Uzbekistan, and Syria in a really tough group in Qatar. Venezuela. Sahel. Strong Sahel. And it's still there, and Lalianzuala! It's in! The equaliser for India! The assistant referee must surely have seen that that crossed the line. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, no. Oh, no. There is no goal, mouth technology, goal line technology. In the build up to this goal, Sahal Abdul Samad did brilliantly. He won the ball. Oh, wow, I don't think this is being given. I don't think this is being given. They're already irate with one or two decisions that they think went against them in the first half. And this one is a big one. Oh, dear me. There is no goal mile technology, goal line technology. And you fully understand Singapore and Malaysia saying this didn't go over. Here is the replay. Firstly, Sahil does really well. Behind, behind. Yeah, that's over the line. That is over the line. It's off the goalkeeper, off the post, off the keeper again. Dion Cools clears off the, off the line. Dion knows, Cools knows. And that has not been given. Oh. Goal line technology not available. India, every right to be unhappy there, every right to be unhappy.
in defence of the assistant referee. No. <laughs> Full stop. So India have responded, but haven't got the reward. It's still 3-2. Arif. Akio, sorry, on the right-hand side. He and Faisal have changed sides. Right then, Arif Ayman back to goal. Tries to play in Akio. That will be a throw-in to Malaysia. And Kolokow received a, a yellow card for his reasonable complaints. Uh, so much to talk about, and the changes for India. Russian Signaram is one of them. I think it will be coming, though, after this free kick. Ball in, clawed away. Akiar picks up the second ball. Arif Ayman just floats it up for Dion Cools, who's done well. Faisal, Faisal Halim pulls it back. Corbinong! Brilliantly made by Faisal Halim. The roof comes off Patek Jalil. India will feel even more aggrieved. Lever Corbinong on the end of some brilliant, brilliant work by Faisal Halim. And for Lever Corbinong, it's a fourth international goal. And with his right foot, but Kools does so well. And then Faisal, he has terrified Akash Mishra. Run at him, lovely ball back, 12 yards out. Levert Corbinong, that's brilliant play from Faisal. That's what makes that front four so exciting. Malaysia four, India two. But India's sense of grievance will just get bigger and bigger as a result of that goal. The changes which were going to be made are made now. Roshan Narum is on for Akash. And Sunil Chetri, his 93rd international goal, brought India back into the game, replaced by Liston Kolokow. the back of Dion Coles, who was just blocking his way. The opposition are already wound up. Why not wind them up a little bit more?
Davis. It's been outstanding. As has Faisal. Faisal wants the throw in, doesn't get it from Roshan. This is Sandes Jingan. A testing night for India. Listen, Kolakau has done well. Flag stays down. Beautifully done. Sahil. Kolakau. Block from Dominic Tam. Darren Lock beaten to the ball by a muscular Rohit Kumar. Now well, the first half was exhilarating, Malaysia led 3-1, the second half equally so. As Malaysia themselves prepare to make a couple of changes. Sergio Aguero and Stuart Wilkin. We should see if that replaces the engine room or some of the flying front four. His attention brought to the changes. And Akia Rashid. Twinkle toes on left wing. Very, very much part of the terrible trio who have tormented India today. Terrible, terrific. I'm still looking for the collective word. word. Looking on for. Darren Lock. So a slight, slight step backwards. Drew Wilkin winning his eighth cap. Sergio Aguero winning his sixth. Davis. Roshanoro. We take a, a bit of a breath, perhaps, from this breathless game. Maybe we don't. Driving forward. And there's Nikol Pujari. The back over on muscles him out of it. Over on gone hand. Took it like a centre forward. Beautiful finish. A few yards. Big time. Goes down by Colico. Has to be careful. See him confident enough. Not like that. Mahesh though looks for Lalanziella off the other side of the bar. Lali Anzuala cannot believe it. He's hit the woodwork twice. Smashes that one. That time, there is no doubt the ball did stay out. But the pace of Mahesh on the left and Lali Anzuala on the right 
really is causing Malaysia problems. They're able to get in behind the space of Corbinong and uh, Davis. And being so thrilling going forward. Perhaps a little bit of the balance has been lost as Davis looks for Malaysia to try to make it five. And the ball back, but illegally. side now no hits firm challenge Victor Santos is on the receiving end of that firm challenge from Rohit Hendrick has been very, very hard work in the heart of midfield. The rather likes of uh, Lindingham on the bench, should it be required. Thumbs up from Hendrick, he wants to stay on, of course he does. He's having a fun time out there. has been very important to the game plan for Kim Pangon. 28 years of age, which, uh, Jabor. Russian did well initially, lost it to Sergio Aguero, who was looking for Hendrik. No lane. on penalties to win the SAF Cup earlier this year. They didn't show the kind of goal-scoring threat that they're showing here. Coloco still in. Oh, straight into the body of Dion Cools. Otherwise, I think Mahesh was on for his second goal of the night. Volley, very similar position to where he scored his first. And they are thrilling going forward. Coloco has done well. Here is Mahesh again. Lovely ball from Mahesh. Brilliant save, Sihan. Sahal Abdul Samad cannot believe that that has not gone in. Corbinong lost it. And it's a gorgeous ball. It would have been on given, it is on side. And that's excellent goalkeeping from Sihan Azmi. And just illustrates the threat that India have got going forward. That's really unfortunate, pitch giving way. The pitch hasn't had a time to bed in. Well, his memories 
Abaka Jalil will be this post here in your screen, the crossbar. That far corner spot. Or are there more memories for him to build? 17 minutes plus for India to claw their way back. And you wouldn't say another goal is beyond them if they can make it 4 3 and somehow hold out at the other end. Valenzuela, Colico. Real dynamism from Colico. Colico. Good work from Arif. Pools takes a risk. Yellow card here for Arif, and to be honest, that has been coming. He's been involved in one or two unnecessary challenges. It's a reaction on Russia Narum after being fouled, so he's got the foul. He's also picked up the first yellow card of the game. But we do like him in this number 10 position. There's so many good players in that number 10 position, although he's been playing as a, a fairly central forward. Junior Elt still comes on for Noah Lane. Now, this is interesting because when Junior comes on, Malaysia normally revert to a back three. And he made his name as a, a midfielder. Trying to explain what his role is. June is 19th, uh, 20th cap as Faisal Halim switches sides. The effort is tame from Sergio Aguero. He's gone into that central position. Delaco, blocked off by Cools. He's been really busy since he came on list on Colacao, the Mohan Bagan winger. That side of the pitch is cutting up. Mahesh wants to get on with things quickly. Mahesh again. He's been busy. Cross is good one. It's dealt with by Stuart Wilkin. Sandesh. Mikhail. doing their bit of one end. Really has been an exhilarating game, We're in a really good atmosphere. Tajikistan await Malaysia or India for a place in the final. Roshan. Not quite as much pressing from Malaysia since the substitutions. Valenzuela reflected that will be a corner and Dion Cools is saying to his midfield push on we're sitting back too deep and midfield now is Hendrik and Stuart Wilkin 
12 minutes, pressure on Malaysia. Mahesh to take the corner. Junior Elstel's header. Suresh. On to Roshan Narum. Kobinong. Only to Sahol. Disappointing effort from Sahol in the end. Basil Halim is down. After a high energy 78 minutes, being told by referee Monkonchai to take his injury off the pitch. Kim Pangon from an attacking point of view. I'm sure we'll have plenty to be very happy with. From a defensive point of view, not so much. And he's now utilising the final three substitutions that he's got. Azam Azmi. Defender, Safai Rashid. Score of great goals. I'm pretty sure will be one of those who makes way. Score of the third goal for Malaysia just before half time. This will surely mean a, a change in terms of um, how Malaysia set up as India make their changes as well. Sitting is Nandakuma Seka. And he's a winger, East Bengal, and just his third cap for Nandakuma. It's an attacking move as Malaysia go defensive in the last 10 minutes. Rusty Mack has said, uh, let's try and get something out of this game. Malaysia's third choice, uh, Shami Iswam. He's on as well. It's all slowing the pace of the game down just a little bit. Matt Davis is replaced. And that's a full-back football, full-back. And I'm pretty sure a change of uh, system for Kim Pangong. Five substitutions allowed as Corbin Ong gets in there ahead of uh, Lallianzuela. And Corbin Ong, he's got two ahead of him. One of whom was Sergio Aguero. Goalkeeper Gerpreet out really, really well. Nazam caught up field. This is the, the pace. Amanda Kuma. Pulls. Diving in and Wilkin. Ooh. So nearly, so nearly put that into the feet of uh, Lalian Suala, who deserves a goal today, it must be said. Udanta Singh Kumam is the other substitute. Mahesh. Nandakuma inside of him. Little give and go. Mahesh's cross breaks out to Kalako. Suresh. Udanta. Venezuela. 
Mahesh waits. And comes from Mahesh. Comfortably through to Siham, who save now from Sahal Abdul Samad looks uh, really, really, really important. India have scored the two goals. They've had what looked to be a perfectly good goal disallowed. They've hit the crossbar and they've forced a, a wonderful save from Siham. Mahesh loses out to Kools. No free kick. Sergio Aguero. Guilty party. As Danta Singh. Plays in for Lalon Zeller and uh, he's just clipped the heels of Levert Corbinong. Corbinong will take 10 seconds. It's more of that very expensive turf. It's ripped from its moorings. Time to bed in turf. This match, and uh, I can only hope there's not a torrential downpour of rain. India still chasing. Shami's first involvement, conceding a free kick. Shami is on fourth cap, the Pahang winger. Sandesh. Stuart Wilkin not at his most glorious best there. Just look at that, Malaysia. It's a 5 4 1 formation. It's hold on. Up to what we've got. Safawi can break down one side. Sergio Aguero doing plenty of uh, the donkey work. Up front, Wilkin and Hendrick in the heart of midfield. Azam, great athlete, finds goals. Ooh, Hendrick is taken. Well, he's hobbling a bit, Hendrick, and Malaysia have used all five substitutions. Udanta, lovely reverse ball. Zahul. Lonzela looks for Zahul. No space. Good power from Lalonzela. Suresh. Rising high. But Malaysia being forced further and further and further into their own penalty area as India give this a real go to try to rescue something from this semi final. There, that when Junior Elstil was pushing on, Dion Cools was on the edge of his six yard box. So, if they do revert to that back three, they need to work on it. Suresh, and Akuma. Space behind the Malaysia rear guard. Really is a, a complete change from the high press that they employed. Udanta. Ooh. That could have been a hand there. Something else for India to complain about later. But they'll carry on now. As that's pulled back, looking for Ranganzuela. Hendrik Dos Santos is running on fumes at the moment. Sergio Aguero, <laughs> here's Hendrik, those fumes, now we can see the goal. He might fancy just taking this into the corner, tries to get something from it. Retains possession. Shami, Kobinong. 
Dominic Tan, not the best ball. Nanda Kuma drives. Coloco straight at Sihan. Pools. Says to Shami, you go have a go. Shami, though, is not a, an Arif Ayman. Not many are, must be said. I'm sure Igor Stimak will have a word or two to say. The end of this contest. India from the early stage was a feeling hard done by. They complained about the penalty they conceded. Clearly was a penalty. They can certainly complain about their third goal that they scored that wasn't awarded. Danta. Suresh. It's just two walls of black shirts. Sergio Aguero's versatility as he fits into that central midfield role now as Hendrik is a, a bit of a passenger. Junior Elstel knocks the ball forward. Yeah, Hendrik is the furthest man forward now. Five minutes for India. Suresh, Udanta, Koloko. Ooh. Coming on, drops on him. Not much of an appeal there. Udanta. Too many Malaysia shirts. When he looked up, that was the fatal mistake of Udanta then. He looked up, delayed the cross. Suresh again onto Mahesh. Clever from Mahesh. Doesn't break. Sahal Abdul Samad creates a little bit of space. Getting in good positions. When the cross has come in, it's a Malaysia shirt that gets there. Or the goalkeeper, as is the case there. We're going to have a, a yellow card for some action on the pitch this time. It is the hard-working Elian Zwala Changta. And deservedly so. It's pretty naughty. Frustration, you can feel it. Clever from Hendrik, Safawi. 
That would have been a rather well, fabulous way to finish things. And Junior can go back to his goalkeeper. And Malaysia have shown that they can be thrilling. And in these last ten minutes that they can lock the door. Binong. That fourth goal from him was so important, and it could well be more coming our way. Safawi Rashid. Safawi just tries to drive it forward, but rather isolated. Udanta. Dominic Tam is covering. Oloko. Roshan dispossessed, and Azamazmi can drive forward. And Malaysia have got players over if they play this right. Azam is waiting for the run. It's comes from Shami. And he's just heading into the corner. Malaysia feel they've done enough with uh, 20 seconds on the clock. This thrilling game of international football sadly will come to an end. Alianzuala. India could be fun in the Asian Cup. Australia, Uzbekistan and Syria await them in January and February. Malaysia have proven that they can take on teams higher ranked than them and not only take them on but beat them in thrilling, thrilling, controversial style. A good crowd at Bukit Jalil on hand to see Malaysia Hold on to a 4-2 win, leading 3-1 at the interval. A Sunil Chetri goal made life very interesting. Then came that decision that went for Malaysia. A Lallianzuala goal that was disallowed. Neither referee nor assistant referee seeing that the ball had crossed the line. And Malaysia went on to make them pay Lebert Corbinong's fourth international goal. Swept home after some thrilling wing play from Faiz Halim. Kim Pangong will be thrilled to bits that his team take on Tajikistan as well. Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. He looks very unimpressed. Maybe decisions, maybe is defending India. come off second best they hit the bar they force problems but Dion Cool's early goal helped put Malaysia on the way and Arif Ayman penalty a Faisal Halim goal just before half time and then Lever Corbinong with what turned out to be the all important insurance fourth goal thereafter Malaysia were able to hold on and uh, very defence-minded in the way they held on for the last 10 minutes. But hold on, they did. It's finished here at Bukit Jalil. A thrilling, fabulous, entertaining encounter. A semi-final where India will go home thinking they deserve much better than this scoreline. It's finished. Malaysia 4, India 2.